Planner people, YouTube. Hello, everybody. Hello to all my subscribers and to everybody else in the planner world. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Shirley Joss. I just want to give you an overview of the planner lineup that I have for this year. They are not final. I'll be tweaking them within the year. So I just thought I'll just give you um, it's not a flip through but just an overview I think I'll start with my I'll start from the left shall I okay so I'll go with this for now this is my faith planner they call it I call it my Bible study planner and um, this is my Daisy planner and I have in here the devotions that I've, I've been doing it has a lot to do with my bible study scripture studies on my own and sometimes i take notes when i listen to preachers which i take into these uh, pages here okay i just did a flip through on this one so these are just full of notes it has its own to-do list so really this is just for my study of the bible and i like to document what i've studied and my progress in learning it and uh, also i found this one about esther what you can learn from esther i have read that whole chapter of esther where it says uh, god uses ordinary people to do extraordinary things beauty should not make us boastful with god's help we can step out in faith and fight our fears she fought for her people and at the risk of losing her life so this is something that i found just recently i put that here because i believe the esters are rising up or they're gonna be used in the last days so this is my devotions faith planner everything there i have a lot of things that I teach my kids that I document in there as well okay these are my everyday planners this is my financial planner I just did a flip through of this one yesterday so it's not very old it's still the same and I love how the Philofax Maldems are so robust they are very strong they're good quality I'd go for quality any day Although they are a bit more pricey, they're not as pricey as some of the planners I've seen in the planner community. So this is plainly my financial planner. It contains budgets, income streams, business contacts, savings trackers, spending tracker. They're there. So I have put most of them there this is my macaroon planner this one is my daisy planner so the main ones would be these these are my everyday main planners this is my very main planner which has everything from home projects to little bit of journaling gratitude journaling my whole calendar for the year is here and this would be a duplicate of the calendar only because I want to carry this as an everyday carry in a smaller bag. If I feel like taking a big bag, I'll take this one, which is my rose planner. I noticed with myself that this year I have been uh, going crazy with themes on my planners. <laughs> so this is my rose planner because everything else is rose. This is macaroon because it's all macaroons. And that's daisy it's, it's all about daisies this one is my complimentary everyday planner which i've shown a flip through of just recently and i call it my butterfly planner because why it's got butterflies and this is just a very easy everyday carry for me when i'm out and about and not really sitting and working this is what i carry so i have found that even if this isn't leather it's very good it can hold a lot you see as you can see and so i love this one this one is the same they're both filofax soft domino this is in lemon and this is in orchid yes 
I'm giving this a rest. I've used this last year as my everyday carry supplementary to this one. This is the lemon one now, which is new. I want to give this a rest, but I still put some decor into it just so I can use it when I want. I'll just swap the content. It's a different designs. There's no thought to it. It's just different. So this is my lilac one. I love these planners. My favorite ones are these Malden, Philofax Maldens, because they're my go-to planners. I love that it has storage. You can put stuff here like pens, but I don't want to bulk it up. I got this slender pen for that, and I got a pen loop to hold this colored pen. I'm quite happy with that, but I love the Malden. They're very sturdy. They can take a lot. And I, I don't baby these planners. They don't really, there's no scratches. I remember having my Finsbury and oh, that one was totally scratched. But that's leather as well. But these are leather. They are buffalo leather, antique leather. This one is not leather, but it's it looks sturdy. It's just in the house. Sometimes I take it when I go out and I just want to study the word somewhere else. I take that alongside with this sometimes or with this if I, I like to take my main planner. But I play around with these planners and so far they have worked very well for me. So anyway, this is everything that I have for the year 2023. I hope it inspires you and maybe gives you an idea on how you want to do yours or maybe do it better. So anyway, I'd like to thank everybody once more for tuning in and for your time. This is Shirley Joss signing off for now. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.